When you drive into the Kirchhoff family farm near Poth, Texas, instead of seeing fields full of cows or corn or cotton, you might notice that this farm is growing grass. Short grasses to the right, tall grasses to the left. But that wasn't always the case. Mom and Dad, Leroy and Bernhilde Kirchhoff, both grew up farmers. Daddy wanted to remain a farmer, and in 1954 they bought this place. We had a few cows. Some of the acres was for cattle, but most of it was farming. There were five of us kids all together, so we grew up here. We picked cotton, pulled corn, hauled hay. We milked our own cows, fed the hogs, everything by hand. Uh, we did enough farming to realize we wanted to do something different when we graduated from high school. So the Kirchhoff kids went their separate ways and had their separate careers. And after their parents passed away, the siblings took possession of the 200-acre property. We still didn't want to be farmers, but our parents had a real strong conservation ethic. That's something that stuck with us, so we decided that we'd convert the farmland back to a, a prairie. The Kirchhoff's place is at the southern end of the Blackland Prairie a region historically known for its rich soil, tall grasses. But today, less than 1% of the original native prairies remain. A lot of that's been lost because it was such good farmland. So it was plowed and cultivated, and once you do that with a prairie, it's gone. When they inherited the farm in 2008, the family had a lot to learn. We just went and bought a bunch of expensive seeds. We planted them. We came out here with the expectation of seeing something come up. Well, it didn't. Next year, we did the same thing and we got the same results. Our next step was to get some advice. With U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service guidance, the Kirchhoffs began collecting native plants from along the county roads. They grew them in trays, collected the seeds, and then planted them around the farm. A grant from the Natural Resources Conservation Service expanded the project. See all those little ones? Oh, yes. They are definitely a success story and uh, excellent advertisement for working with different agencies. With the native grasses mostly established, the Kirchhoffs have turned their attention to removing the invasive woody plants that tend to crowd out the native grasses. used to come out here for exercise, if you could believe that, but as we grow older, the, you know, you get ailments, but yet you feel good coming out here and working. There's nothing wrong with our work ethic. Okay. Transforming 200 acres is a lot of work, so the Kirchhoffs rely on volunteers. A green tree fire break around the headquarters happened with the help of nearly 100 Boy Scouts. Girl Scouts and 4-H clubs. Wildlife guzzlers and burrowing owl nest sites were Eagle Scout projects. The Kirchhoffs also host regular prairie restoration workshops, and the land is now under a conservation easement. Outreach is just as important as the actual conservation. People won't save what they don't value. As the lands transformed, wildlife of all kinds have returned to the property. The quail probably was the first thing that showed up. I was shocked. They showed up the first year. They've never left. Deer, when I was a kid, we never saw a deer on this place. It is common to see 10 to 15 deer at a time. Turkeys are back. I'm sure they're nesting right down here. You can hear them. There are milkweeds popping up out here in this prairie. Kind of about 20 caterpillars, but there were six of them on one plant. They're good for monarchs. I don't know what that is. That's not a milkweed, though. People see what's going on here. They come out and hear the quail. They see the butterflies. They hear all the different birds, and they think, I would like to do that on my property. What we see out here is a living, thriving prairie, something that actually we're quite proud of. It wasn't easy to get to this point, but when you come out here and see the result, it's something to be really excited about. Yeah, I would say we're thrilled with it. <laughs>